and welcome to another edition of Asian Television. I am here on the last day, that's right, the closing event for the 10th annual Real World Film Festival in the heart of downtown Toronto. Now this festival is unlike any others. It actually features a variety of countries and different cultures coming together. Challenges, successes, overcoming adversity, right here only at this film festival. Now it is the 10th year and we want to see what's happened, what's changed, what successes, what challenges have come through at the last day here of the Real World Film Festival. Canadian recording artist Jason. How you doing today? Good, how you doing? I'm great. So tell us your involvement with Real World. Um, well, actually on Friday was the uh, video premiere, so my first single called Inside. Uh, we had our premiere at the video uh, music video segment of uh, the Real World Film Festival, so pretty exciting stuff. What was it like to actually see your work here with so many people? Uh, it, it's an honor, first of all, um, and then just, you know, being around people and, and uh, meeting other artists and actors and actresses who have kind of gone through you know the hustle and the struggle and to get your you know to get your movie or your your video in a, in a festival and watching it on the big screen it, it's 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 awesome it's, it's really an honor to be here and Jason have you been involved with real world in the past no this is the first time so and, and my involvement with Vikas is he produced my my album so it's, it's a big thing for both of us so and in terms of creativity and your vision did you find that Vikas was able to meet exactly what you were looking for absolutely not <laughs> um, <laughs> Actually, the, the funny thing with Vikas is I think, I think what we came up with together was really awesome and it's a credit to him to, being, to hearing what I want, but also, you know, I, he forced me to be patient to hear his ideas and I think together we, we uh, you know, we, we came up with something that's really, in my mind, very, very powerful. So, it's, yeah, it was great working with him. And I talked to him as well about inspiration, uh, people you look up to. Where does that come from for you? Uh, primarily, musically, it comes from Axl Rose, um, Tom York of, of Radiohead. And then I think, you know, there, there's a lot of, you know, life experiences I think went into the album, so hard to say. And theme-wise, is there any sort of themes that you concentrate your music on? I don't know if I, if I consciously concentrate on a theme, but, but I'd say my, the motto of my album is um, keep it real, which is just, you know, the songs are about, you know, real life experiences, they're about me, they're not, there's no, there was no int intention behind the songs, they kind of just came out the way they were. And we tried to make the music that best complemented, you know, the lyrics and, and the feel of the song. So, yeah, it's, it's very real. So Keep It Real is definitely the uh, slogan for the album. And anyone particular that you'd like to work with in the next couple of years? Oh, it's a long list. I've actually met a lot of artists here um, that I'd like to work with. Uh, so, I, I don't know. Um, you know, it, it really depends on what opportunity comes up, but uh, I, I don't have any names off the top of my head. And now that we're here at the closing festival, we're here on the last day of the 10th anniversary. Anything you'd like to say about the Real World Festival itself? Uh, well, it's been good to see just, you know, the, the press it's getting, the attention, because I think it, 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 it warrants it. Um, seeing some of the films and, this, and the videos, I mean, I just, just to see people enjoying it and uh, celebrating it is, you know, I mean, I, that's all I'm looking forward to tonight. Well, we wish you all the best. I'm sure we'll be seeing lots more of you in the future. Thank you very much. Welcome back to ATN. I'm here with Vikas Kohli. How are you doing today? Doing good. How are you doing, Priya? I'm great. And you have a huge involvement with the music industry, not only here in Toronto, but all over the world. Uh, yeah, I guess so. You know, I've done a lot of projects with artists you know, from India, UK, US, and Canada, obviously, because that's where I'm based. Um, I like different genres of music, so whoever's willing to work with me, I'll talk to them, right? And Vikas, tell us a bit about the Real World Film Festival. How did you get involved with the films here? Sure. Um, well, it was just, you know, Real World was nice enough to pick up two projects that I was uh, associated with. The first one was uh, a film called Shanti Baba Ram and the Dancers of Hope. Uh, I contributed a Bollywood-style track to that, the title track for, the song, for that film. And then there's another artist by the name of Jason, who's this fantastic rock artist. And his video premiered as, uh, in the music video night here at Real World, and uh, I produced his album, his debut album as well. So I had these two projects, one a rock artist, one a Bollywood song. Uh, and uh, then Real World said, you're in the festival. I said, okay, I'll be there. 
So the music industry globally, where do you think it's headed? Um, I guess you use the word globally, I think that's the key point. That uh, Now genres are not isolated to small pockets around the world. Everything's getting crossed over. People are hearing lots of different styles. Like the fact that Real World is such a good festival for multicultural artists, filmmakers, and then, you know, I get to put in the music there too. So, you know, people here, if they come to the Real World Festival, they'll hear the rock music, they'll hear the Bollywood tunes, they'll hear all sorts of other great songs uh, and see lots of films. and. That's what's going, happening with the music scene all the time. I just finished a track uh, where it's a Portuguese uh, artist, but uh, the, there's an Indian rapper on it, and there's a Jamaican dancehall artist on the track as well. And I think, you know, five or ten years ago, that would have been insane to think of. And now it's maybe unusual, but I think it piques people's curiosity because people have heard all those different genres a little bit. So if we pull them together, they get exposed to it just that much more. And where does your inspiration, your sound for music, where does that come from? Um, well... I think it comes from my sideburns, and that's it. Uh, no, I, I just, uh, I, would, I have to give credit to my older brother coming home uh, when I was younger with all sorts of tapes that had uh, bad language on it that were rock and roll tapes, and uh, I thought, wow, that's really cool. I don't hear that in the Bollywood films, and I don't hear that on the radio, and it opened my mind up to this whole other world of music that was going on that you don't know when you're 13 years old or 12 years old, so I just got hooked at that point and just been straight on gunning for music since then. Now let's say you had no limitations. What instruments would you mix together to create that perfect sound? Oh, I don't have any limitations. There you go. <laughs> uh, I'll, to be honest, I think I'm, I have a bit of a reputation with the artists that I work with of, of actually doing kind of weird things like that. I've put, uh, you know, I produced a punk album and we put Dole on it, right? Uh, I'll do anything that I think is interesting and cool and, uh, and, and hopefully, you know, piques people's interest. Uh, unusual thing. I have another pop song that uh, I put Chinese instruments on it, but it's an English song. Anything to make it fun and interesting for the listener, right? And because if you could work with anybody in the next couple of years, who would that magical person be? You know, there's a lot of artists out there that I really like. Some of them are dead, unfortunately. But um, I think right now, you know what? Tom Waits would be pretty damn cool to work with. And uh, Lady Gaga. If I can get them together on a track, that would be the coolest track I could think of right there. So who knows? We might see that happening very soon. Uh, I'll put in some calls. If you know anybody, you make some calls. <laughs> we want to congratulate you on your success and wish you all the best. Well, thanks a lot. Hope you have fun at the festival. Thank you.